The name Homer is of an unknown etymological origin that has antique theories erected around it. In Greek, the name Homer is Homeros, which means hostage or shorty. Another interpretation of its meaning is he who fits together. Many postulations and traditions circulated in the ancient world in regards to Homer. Although most of those traditions are lost, it has been considered by modern scholars to have been of historical value. Some of the claims are repeated, and one of such established claims is that Homer was born by Chios and that he was blind. The claim also states that he was son of the river Melis and Cretes, the nymph, and he wandered as a bab. It also says that Homer composed several other works called Homerica and is presumed to have authored the Odyssey and Iliad, which are two historical epic poems that center on ancient Greek literature. Ancient presumption also states that Homer probably died in loss or after he failed to solve a riddle set by some fishermen. The Iliad, however, was established during the Trojan War, which saw the city of Troy under siege by the Greek kingdom. In the Hellenist and Roman times, several interpreters, including the Stoics, believed that the Homeric poems conveyed the doctrines of the Stoic and were regarded as allegories and contained hidden wisdom. This supposed wisdom of Homer became famously praised that he became seen as the image of a prototypical philosopher. One of the oldest studied topics in scholarship that dates back to antiquity is Homer, the Iliad and the Odyssey. They have been widely used in ancient Greek and Hellenistic schools as texts. They were the literary works first taught to all students, particularly in the Iliad. The first books were studied more intently than the Odyssey in the Romans and the Hellenistic period. Due to the prominence of the poem in classical Greek education, there arose extensive commentaries on the poems that developed to explain the culturally and linguistically tricky parts of the poems. The poems had extensive use of education that it became widely believed that Homer's original plan had been to educate with his poems. The Greek scholar Demetrius Chalcocondyles in 1488 published the Homeric poems Editio Princeps and other earliest modern Homeric scholars also started with the same basic approaches as scholars in antiquity towards the Homeric poems. The Homeric poems had an allegorical interpretation which was widely prevalent in antiquity which became the prevailing view of the Renaissance. The Renaissance humanist leveled their praises on Homer as the wise poet who disguised his wisdom through allegory in his writings. In Western Europe, however, Virgil was widely read than the work of Homer. The letter was also viewed through Virgilian eyes in the Renaissance era. In 1664, Francois Hederlin and Abbe de Obidiac in contradicting Homer's widespread praise as an epitome of wisdom, wrote an attack that was skating on the Homeric poems. They declared that the poems were incoherent, tasteless, immoral, and had no style, and that Homer never existed. To them, the poems were cobbled in haste from unrelated oral songs by incompetent editors. The English scholar Richard Bentley countered this 50 years later when he stated that Homer did exist but as an obscure prehistoric oral poet who wrote other compositions that were not related to the Iliad and the Odyssey. Homer's poems were written in an artificial literary language that was only used in epic hexameter poetry. The Greek used by Homer displays features of multiple dialects of regional Greek. Still, it is traditionally Ionic Greek to keep with Homer, who was from Ionia. The poems were also composed in a dactylic hexameter that was not rhymed. The orally transmitted poems of Homer were written down between the 8th and 6th century. Some scholars believe that the poems were probably dictated to a scribe by the poet and the version that exists today was originally orally dictated text. The Homeric poems were believed to have been collected and organized by the tyrant Persistratus in Athens around the 6th century BC and were dubbed the Persistratian Recension. This idea of Persistratus was first referenced by Cicero, a 1st century BC orator of the Roman Empire. It is also referenced in two ancient lives of Homer sources. The text of the Homeric poems became relatively established from the 150 BC. Today, Homer is associated with only the Odyssey and the Iliad. However, he is also credited with some other works which include Context of Homer and Hesiod, The Bade, Epigone, Homeric Hymns, 
Cifria, Capture of Ochelia, Magites, and the Phocites. These claims have not been conceded as authentic and were also not universally accepted in ancient times. The first ever printed edition of Homer was in 1488 in Milan, Italy. The poem also had the most considerable influence on the ancient culture and education of the ancient Greece. Plato referred to Homer as the one who was taught Greece. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.